High Rise Invasion. Every mask in the series. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on High Rise Invasion or Tenku Shinpan, the mystery battle royale series with the masked killers. So in this video I will go through every type of mask that appears in the first half of the series, explain their attributes, abilities and whether you should or should not wear them. This video is relatively spoiler free and will only cover masks that appear in the first 70 chapters of the manga, i.e. in the first one-fifth of the series. In case you have not heard of this series before, you should watch this video where I analyze the story and core themes of this insanely entertaining manga. Without further ado, let's begin. The Smiling Masks the smiling mask is the most common type of mask and is the first to appear in the series. Once one of the poor victims who has been teleported into this world wears a smiling mask, he loses all sense of identity. The mask overrides his brain and takes control of his or her body. How does this happen? There appears to be a digital code imprinted on the inside of the mask, and when a human so much as looks at this digital print, his brain is hijacked. The moment the mask is worn, the human is under the complete control of whoever has designed this reality. The smiling mask also greatly enhances the user's physical capabilities and pain tolerance, turning him into a superhuman killing machine. Now, every masked killer is equipped with one weapon, usually fitting his personality. Neutral masks. This type of mask has a straight line, forming the mouth instead of a smiling face, and is arguably the most harmless mask. Neutral mask wearers are non-combatants, are unarmed and carry a bag or a box of supplies. Their function, unlike the smiling mask wearers, is not to chase and kill victims, but to provide masked men and victims with food and ammunition in order to keep on fighting. It is also implied that they are the ones placing the other types of masks throughout the battlefield. It can also be assumed that they have also lost all conscience and their minds have been hijacked as well the moment they put on their masks. Sad slash angry masks. Sad or angry masks are a rare sight and the only individuals we have seen wearing them are those that guard the helicopter. Thus, it can be inferred that they function as guards to whoever designed this reality and or function as a private army to ensure the rules of this death challenge are upheld. They seem to be more aggressive and highly trained than smiley masks, and they potentially follow a different set of commands by their respective masks. Before we take a look at some of the bonus masks, we have to at least mention the most special, most powerful type of mask, which is the faceless type. These masks appear after chapter 50 in the manga and are the only masks that you should put in case you come across. They're extremely rare and grant the wearer a special world-altering ability, which I won't spoil in this video. These masks don't seem to hijack the wearer's mind, since the two people who have worn them have been able to take them off at will. However, these masks do not seem to offer any physical boost to the wearer, and it is possible that they are an elaborate trap set by the organizer. The fact that there are seemingly non-existent side effects is suspicious to say the least. Bonus round! Masks with a spatial status. Cracked masks. Within the story of High Rise Invasion, there is at least one masked killer with a smiling mask which has a crack on the edge due to a confrontation. A wearer of a cracked mask is able to regain his consciousness, speak, and take control of his movement. However, he or she still has to respond to the mask's orders when those are made. The wearer then switches to his previous mind control form for a period of time. Broken masks. When a mask is broken, it becomes ineffective and the wearer is given a final command. 
to terminate himself. This is done so that no mask wearer can then crack the mystery of the masks and their codes. And finally, defective masks. There is but one case of a mask which was defective in the story. A wearer of a defective mask is able to retain his consciousness and doesn't have to follow any commands while also enjoying the benefit of his enhanced physical abilities. These were all the masks that appear in the first quarter of the series. If you want to watch an analysis of the series, then check out my other High Rise Invasion video. Also remember to hit like and smash that subscribe button. Oh, and hit the bell notification. If you guys want me to make more videos on High Rise Invasion, then comment below and let me know. Have an amazing day, guys. And until next time, my fellow mask wearers.